U.S. Navy is doing an about-face on a decision to allow chaplains to perform same-sex marriages on military bases in states where the practice is legal. The policy would have gone into effect with the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell this summer, but dozens of lawmakers also criticized the plan, saying that it would violate the Defense of Marriage Act. Joining us to talk more about this live now, the Navy's decision to not allow their chaplains to perform the marriages, are Dave Welch of the Houston Area Pastors Council and former Army Captain Jonathan Hopkins. Uh, First to you, Captain Hopkins, uh, do you think that the Navy or other military chaplains should be performing gay marriages? I think that uh, chaplains should be able to perform gay marriages. It's a fundamental of freedom of religion, since those are a religious ceremony, and there's no other instances where the federal government regulates what sort of religious ceremonies people can have on base. We don't... uh, We don't dictate who can be baptized or who can receive communion. This is just another religious ceremony. Freedom religion, freedom of religion should be preserved. But at the same time, it looks as if, though, there's sort of a dichotomy as to whether we're upholding the law in terms of don't ask, don't tell, or violating the federal law in terms of the Defense of Marriage Act. Actually not. The Defense of Marriage Act just says the federal government won't recognize, uh, won't recognize gay marriages at the federal level. it, It gives states the freedom to recognize at their level and... It it doesn't dictate whether chaplains anywhere can perform a religious ceremony. Pastor Welch, where do you come down on this? Well, clearly, again, this this is an issue that it does uh, de facto violate the spirit of the federal law. And and, and the issue that things are voluntary in the military is not not correct, of course. So, you know, this will come down to chaplains being forced to uh, conduct same-sex marriages if this policy were uh, enforced and uh, the threat of literally violating their higher oath. Uh, to their faith. Thanks to both of you for talking with us this morning. Dave Welch of the Houston Area Pastor Council and former Army Captain Jonathan Hopkins.